Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, this this is episode two of Exit Sign Storytime. Uh, just like in the last episode, this sign was not originally supposed to be here. Uh, the story is that we were gonna actually try to repair this sign because I was trying, or or uh, because I wanted to try my hand at repairing exit signs just for the fun of it I guess or I don't remember but so the guy listed it as for parts or or uh, repair because the LEDs in it some of them were flickering others were just really dim others were totally out um, and so you know uh, we wanted to try and repair it um, that obviously did not happen but um, you know, so basically we tried a new battery first, because this battery is totally dead. Uh, you know, so it, it couldn't hold a charge at all, so that was the first problem that we ran into, because when we tried to, uh, have it run in backup battery, uh, it wouldn't do that at all, so we had to get a totally different, or a totally new battery from Radio Shack, which we did, um, and we saw that the seller was right, and that the LEDs, some of them were out, like I just said, and all that, uh, we later on removed the inside bulb, so that's why you don't see them, um, yeah, so our original thought at the time was, alright, let's try to replace the LED strips that you see here on both sides. Uh, and so we looked on eBay, and we happened to see another sign that looked exactly like this one on uh, in the inside and all that, you know, everything looked the same. Uh, and the LEDs, I'm sure you can see that these are green, the LEDs on that one were clear uh, in terms of color when they were off. The guy didn't uh, have any pictures of it lit up um, because he didn't have a battery for it, you know. Uh, basically it was uh, it was listed as for parts, uh, or repair because he didn't know enough to know how to, you know, uh, he didn't know enough about these sort of devices to hook one up himself and all that, I guess, so he just listed it as repair or for parts, assuming it might not work. And so, I saw it, and, uh, you know, so we bought it, and then we hooked it up, and, uh, all that, and, uh, it worked perfectly, uh, the LEDs in it were red, it wasn't green, we found out, so, we realized that we couldn't use it, uh, for the purpose, uh, because we were going to use the clear LEDs to repair the green, because I was thinking that since, you know, these, the uh, LED, the LEDs were going to be clear, and so the green faceplate with the, this diffu the uh, green diffuser would make the sign green, but I was wrong, of course. Um, so we couldn't do that, um, but also, upon doing, you know, upon looking at the red sign, we realized that this unit had probably not ever been used, um, because it was so white and clean, as you can tell, because these are the two different face plates. Uh, this obviously goes to this, and then this goes to that one. It's a double 
face sign, so this would be the back of it if you wanted to. Um, and uh, as you can tell, there's clearly a difference in color. This one's more tan or dirty white, whatever you want to call it. And this one's more white. Uh, now one thing you may notice about the arrows is that they don't match in terms of color. Yeah. Now the reason is because I believe, if I remember correctly, that arrow, that lighter arrow on the green sign right there, that arrow, that, that knockout arrow, is actually to this sign, because I believe it came with an extra one, and so I didn't want to lose it, so I decided, why not just put it, uh, why not just put it in the green one? So that's what I did, just not to lose it. Uh, let's see, and then this is to that. Uh, I have to put that in the sign. I f keep forgetting to do that. One of these days I will. Um, but yeah, you could just see the difference in color again, so... Yeah, I'm not sure if this unit is older than that, or if it's just age or what, but... Yeah, this is just your generic born sign. Yeah, nothing special. Uh, yeah, just your ch cheap, crappy generic. Um, yeah. This is the box that the red one came in. I thought it was cool that the seller uh, turned the box inside out. Oh, that was really interesting. <laughs> um, so yeah, the red one did come with the mountain thing, uh, which is what we use to put it on the ceiling. So yeah, so that was cool. I just thought it was a cool thing that he decided to turn it inside out. I had never seen someone do that before, personally. Uh, but this sort of thing, so I just thought it was really cool, and I thought I'd show you guys. Um, let me think for a sec. Is there anything else? So, yeah, uh, basically... I'm not sure if I'm repeating myself. I'm really sorry if I am. I'm just sort of spacey today uh, for some reason. So basically, as I may or may not have mentioned, uh, the LEDs in that were clear. Or, or wait a minute, they were not clear. Sorry, sorry. They were red, so we couldn't use it. Uh, and since the Red sign clearly had not ever really been used at all. I think it might have come actually brand new in box. Uh, I don't really, you know, like it basically looked like it, as you could probably tell by the color. Uh, it's much newer, so we basically thought, all right, you know what, this sign works fine. Um, you know why? You know, why you, or why not just use this instead of the green one? Uh, and so we just decided to use the red one and put it up. And that's how that one came to be. Uh, so another, yeah, so we gave up, sadly, on repairing this. Uh, just because we found one that worked. Um, you know, so, I mean, maybe one day we'll get around to fixing it, um, maybe, I don't know, but for now, we're just really using it for spare parts, uh, if we ever needed to, sort of a thing, really, so it's just here for spare parts now, um, 
which is good, you know, so it'll hopefully maybe one day have its use, but until then, it's just gonna sit in a box, um, so this will be more of a learning tool for, for us, I guess, um, but yeah, I still have hope on some level that maybe one day we'll be able to fix it somehow, um, So, yeah, that's the story. Um, so, yeah, hopefully, uh, if you take away anything from this video is, if you're new to trying to repair or get into exit signs or whatever, uh, please don't fall for what I did in terms of the whole LED color thing. Um, you know, so if you see a clear LED strip, don't just assume it's going to be clear. Uh, it may be green or it may be red. Um, if it's not obvious, um, ask the person maybe who's selling it or, you know, uh, be prepared that you may be surprised. Uh, but also, a one thing that I've learned is that, generally speaking, the lights will match the faceplate color. So if you have a green faceplate, like that one is, you're more than likely going to have green LEDs inside of it, which makes sense. Um, and then if you have a red faceplate, the LEDs are going to be red. Um, so, yeah, because you can't mix red. Sorry, that's my phone. Because uh, you can't mix red with, uh, uh rats. Alright, uh, sorry about the phone. There we go, stop. Sorry, uh, sorry, lost my train of thought. Thanks for the phone. Um, yeah, trying to get it back. Uh, this is embarrassing. Uh, alright, so you can't mix faceplates with uh, LEDs because you'll end up like with an orange ish color, I guess you could say. You know, like if, if, yeah. So, like, you can't really have a red LED panel with a green faceplate. It won't look that great. Trust me, I've, I, I actually did try that uh, when I was experimenting. I was just curious to see what would happen. So I actually put um, this faceplate, I think, on the red one. And, uh, yeah, it didn't look too good, but I was just curious, you know? You know, it didn't hurt the sign or anything. Um, you know, I was still in my curious experimental phase, uh, you know, I think that we all go through, um, so yeah, this is, uh, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, uh, I know it was a lot longer, uh, I know I rambled on a lot, but, that's what this series is about, you know, it's about me rambling on, uh, like an old man, so to speak, um, uh, you know, just talking and talking, um, so yeah, I think that about does it for this episode, sorry if it was longer and all that, but, you know, I'm learning, um, uh, as we all are. Um, let's see if there's anything else I forgot to mention. I think. Um, I don't think so. So yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. I know it was a, a long-winded, boring, well, I don't know about boring, but 
yeah, I think you get the idea. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Oh, quickly, uh, quickly, I'm just gonna go off on one little tangent. Uh, the reason, uh, also, the other little thing is that I like the idea of this sign being red because of my Folgers. I thought it went nicer with my Folgers. Um, because this was, you know, like, you know, Folgers is red, and that's red, so I thought it looked cool. Uh, so that way, maybe, just maybe, when you see a red exit sign, you may, just may, think of Folgers. Uh, you know, and then maybe, you know, um, you know, like, I could have had a green sign here. Uh, but it wouldn't look as nice, I guess. Although Folgers decaf is green, um, so yeah, I could have had green or red, but I decided red because majority of this is red. So I just thought it would look nicer, personally. Um, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, hopefully, um, you take away two things from this video. Number one, be careful about LED color in terms of the strip and all that. And number two, when you see a red exit sign, think of Folgers, regular. And then when you see a green exit sign, think of Folgers, decaf. Uh, or at least that's what I personally think, uh, because of how obsessed I am with Folgers and exit signs, so they sort of blend in together. Uh, so, yeah, that's just me, probably. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Sorry this was so long, and all that, and I rambled on, but that's what this series is about, you know? So, hope you enjoyed, and uh, without further ado, see you in, see you in the next video. Bye.